welcome to Soulfish. I am super duper glad you're here. Thank you. Hope you can hear me okay. There might be a little bit of wind. I'm in the middle of my backyard. I am working on our sanctuary here. So I know that for some of us, uh, it's been a little frustration in terms of video quality, sound quality, consistency, some of those things. I apologize. I'm not trying to taint the message based on uh, poor execution. However, at the same time, um, we probably have a few more weeks of just kind of getting all of our stuff set up correctly. So I hope that you can bear with us on that. Um, a lot of exciting stuff happening. I know for many, many, many of us, uh, a lot of change right now in what we're feeling, a lot of uh, questioning. And so some of the questioning is centered on, you know, how are we feeling unclear and unsettled and um, not feeling quite ready for these things? <clears throat> Pardon. And yet for these other things, uh, we feel on track. We, in fact, feel, you know, like, wow, can't believe this happened, that kind of a thing, right? Like, so we have this good happening as we're, as we're, as we're walking through this new story now, at the end of last year, we really, the cycle started to shift. And we're heading into this much bigger cycle for this next roughly two-year period of time. And so we're a few months into that now. And so for a lot of folks, as things are manifesting and trying new things, this old stuff keeps coming back up, right? And, but what's weird is it doesn't have the same hold on you, but it's still impactful. And it taints the newness that taints the new things that you're doing. Hang on. Whew. So bear with me. Holy moly, that was like a, a torturing experiment. I got like little hairs. Wow. So, um, you know, through this, this kind of like compression, the squeezing, it's designed to help you release this stuff. It's designed so that you can move forward into the next story, having been open enough to see what's at store for you, to see what's available, what opportunities come. It's a new time. So that brings some self-doubt, some self that brings some questioning, that, that makes you feel like you're not ready in a lot of ways. Excuse me. You know what? Maybe, uh, maybe you aren't ready for a few things, but because you're not ready for those things doesn't mean you're not ready to handle not being ready for those things. Right? Does that, does that make sense? It's a lot of wasted energy on the worry of, am I good enough? Am I prepared enough, ready enough? What happens if this happens, that happens? There's a point where you have to trust that you've done what you can and that you're here now, and that you're ready. In the past, when you did stuff, you weren't as prepared as you are now. You weren't as ready. You weren't as conscious of what you're doing, as aware. You didn't have as much intent. And you're here. You're here now. You're here now having the conversation with me. So you're okay. It worked out. So now imagine you're adding an extra layer of wanting more awareness, wanting to choose how your feeling, which then brings everything, is how manifestation occurs here in this place. You know, you have this tremendous ability to manifest. Unfortunately, we are taught, unfortunately, it's to a certain group's uh, interests that we are distracted, that we're kept in a pain body. Um, and, and through that, we lose ourselves. And over time, it becomes like uh, suppressed, numb, hard to dig back out. You know, when I work with folks who have uh, empaths, energy sensitives, right? And it, let's say it was suppressed or not fully uh, welcomed earlier in life or whatever kind of happened to them and they kind of pushed it down. When it starts to rear its head again, when it starts to come back out, um, that's a lot of unlearning. That's a lot of... Uh, um, having to kind of relive some past events in this state, in a non-suppressed state, right? Um, so you still got to relive it anyway. 
um, even though you tried to suppress it and tried to put it away. And that's how it always is. And, and that's what people are learning now is that you can't, you can't just put it back there and then say, I'm not going to address it and it goes away. You, you have to address it. There's, um, there's no healing. There's no dispelling of that until it's addressed. And so this time we're in right now, you have already been experiencing that, and you're going to continue to experience that for another month or two. Uh, this kind of final washing, the final cleansing, the, the, your final kind of 2020 body and what that really means to you and how that's going to help you go through this next, this next cycle uh, as we're amping up into that cycle. Again, for, the, for roughly 24 months or so. So what are we seeing going on around us? Look at the change that we're witnessing now. Lots of conflict in lots of places. Um, particularly conflict in authority, right? Particularly um, a recognition that uh, maybe a lot of what we were taught isn't so much real. Maybe a recognition that a lot of it is produced, um, including a lot of the conflict is orchestrated and produced and manipulated um, to keep people off their feet, distracted, hey, while you're watching this, you know, this one's doing something else, that kind of thing. Um, that's what's going on right now, and we're seeing it high and low. We're seeing it how it's manifesting in lots of different ways for a lot of folks in their jobs and things like that. Um, this kind of conflict, again, going on because everybody's starting to see the shifts of what's happening. Um, we're in a really interesting time, and it gives you the opportunity to hone your practice but it also gives you the opportunity to have ascension energy. You know, it's one thing to understand, it's one thing to witness, <clears throat> but it's another thing to participate. It's another thing to uh, experience in that way, right? So, you know, that's the difference really in ascension energy. It's, it's, it's the difference between witnessing and seeing what's going on, but that because you don't have any triggers in you in a healthy way, um, then it becomes information and you become more of a rock, a, a stable factor in what the chaos is occurring around you. And you don't, you again witness it, but it's very much an island and the waters kind of beat against the shore, but the island doesn't, it doesn't really affect the island at all. And that's, and that's how your practice carries you and how important it is to have a true spiritual practice and working through that. So in tidying all of this up as we look at the energy for right now, you know, what should we be focused on? You know, we should be focused on eating as best as we can. Uh, lots of sugar in your diet right now, not a great idea, okay, in this time. And you'll find that you may have a habit of some sugar but you don't feel the same desire for it. Um, those kind of things, and that's, I'm using sugar as the example, but you'll get what I'm saying, and pretty much everything is like that. Go with that, don't force it. If Just because you had a habit of doing this every day or whatever, or once a week or whatever, go along with it, but just let it go. It's gonna shift, it's all time for everything to kind of shift and, and create, you know, and to help fill in what your needs really are um, for what your new body is. And I'm gonna keep calling it a new body. Your whole body, um, when I say new body, I'm not just saying the physicality of your whole body, all of you going forward in that way. If you can, and this may be a little tough, but if you can, let go and trust. Trust that you've done it in all these kind of ways, particularly your way, for so long. You're still here. <clears throat> I think you would agree that in some areas it was awesome and in some ways you wouldn't want to do that again. I think we all share that. Um, but what I find interesting is the more I let go, the more I stop trying to outthink something out there, and I just do, I just perform, I just do what I'm called to do, then everything else takes care of itself. I don't get caught up in all the little machinations and everybody's um, uh, prickliness, because they're feeling something, right, and then reacting from a particular place. They may not even be conscious that they're reacting from that place. I'm finding that more and more. And so I try to be less and less uh, uh, upset 
take anything personally or anything that way because I'm realizing more and more that um, on a personal level, I'm saying, in terms of as you experience growth, as you, as you change yourself and other things and everything around you changes and your priorities change and how you view things change, right? And that's the beauty, beautiful part of, um, of really our existence here is that we can almost be anyone and can almost change into anyone else, into something else, something greater, better. Um, and that's pretty, that's pretty incredible in this process. You know, I spent a lot of time with a lot of people on the negative of here. And how do we work through the negative of here, particularly energy sensitives and what they're all feeling and everything else, right? And, and, um, and yet, I think about the magnificence, uh, to pull out a, a kind of a, a weird word, I guess, but I think about the magnificence, I guess, or the craziness and, and just wowness of the fact that you have this ability to change. You have this ability uh, to step up in these moments that uh, you never thought you could. And, and, and forget, again, always what anyone else thinks. <laughs> always. But what you thought you could and couldn't do. And, and here you are. And everyone has a story like that. And that's why I think your individualness matters in being here, you know. So, and your individual experience matters and how your individual experience relates to mine and whether we physically meet, interact, our orbits, you know, we're in the same space at the same moment or whether it's moments like this or whether it's, you know, in passing, two years later, we come across each other or something or something uh, produced by one of us or something and, and, and that's the moment of that connection, right? And that's the moment where, you know, there's a potential for a knowledge transfer, there's a potential for an energy transfer, all of those things, right? And all of those things change us. And sometimes it's an opposing force don't want to do that, don't want to be like that, don't want to. and sometimes it's in, a, it's in a pulling force, an attracting force. Oh, I'd like to be more like that, I'd like to act more like that, be able to do that, learn how to do that, whatever, right? So it's a pulling force. And, and those are the two main forces here. And so when you think about that and you think, and you think to yourself, wow, you know, out of all these things I've done, out of all this time that we've spent here, how does it all add up to this moment? And some of it makes sense and some of it still doesn't make sense. And, and what I try to share and what I wanna share with you today is that that part that doesn't make sense right now is not supposed to. It's not critical to what you're supposed to be focused on right now. It's not part of right now story, the, the, the time that you need to be in this moment here. So, you're going to be unclear. You're going to, you're going to question um, why do I feel comfortable over here and very uncomfortable over here right now? Um, because you're supposed to, because you're not ready for this yet. And sometimes this part over here is you, you are part of a bigger story with that involve other people, right? And part of this over here is waiting on some of those other components to take place before you're able to step into that arena. And sometimes you, it's waiting on you, universe is waiting on you to jump in there. And sometimes you're waiting on universe, right? And that's what's interesting here, is that certain things are locked in stone and yet others, there's variables. There are key events in your life that I believe no matter where you were, you could change your life today, but if there were four turning points in your life, somehow you would be at those four turning points regardless of what all this other stuff happened in between. I really believe that, that there's some things just written in stone that you can't, you can't shift, you know, when people talk of destiny or fate. Um, and where free will comes in is how you respond to your destiny and fate. And then that, that, uh, what's the word, changes the experience, but it doesn't change the event. It changes how you experience the event.
if that makes sense. And so today's time right now is all about how do you want to experience what's coming? If you don't want to participate, be dragged down by it, be involved in all of the chaos of, of, of what is occurring around us, what you're seeing and witnessing too, um, then the only way to do that is to not to become a hermit, not to step away, but to really not focus your energy on what you may be seeing out here that is not satisfying, that doesn't feel right. But what may be best is that you're focused all in here and, and making sure that how you're responding keeps you up here. You know, if somebody does something, um, and let's say that it was wrong, okay? Let's just say they did something wrong, and then you go to retaliate in this way, um, then you didn't learn anything because you've just duplicated. You're adding to suffering, right? And if the objective is let's reduce suffering, then if somebody does a wrong to me, I don't, I don't think me doing a wrong back um, is going to help us in that process. If I try to understand where they're coming from, then at least I can try to suck nuggets of, of, criti of, of let's say, constructive criticism or whatever. But if the whole general message is I'm just throwing up because I'm, I'm upset inside for whatever reason and that this is a good place to dump my bucket on you, I'm, I'm, I'm witnessing, but I'm not participating and I'm not emotionally charged by, I'm not affected by in that way. And that's, and that's really important this whole next year. You know, we're going to be doing a lot of doing and that doing means that we have to do some things we didn't really want to do, but we're being compelled to do. And, and we have to go forward. And you want to go forward in the best spirit possible because a, a lot of what you're being asked to do, you already knew you should have done. Now, now, you know, things are stacking up to where you're kind of corralled and have to go do those things because you did not choose to do them first, which is kind of also interesting and cool in that the universe cares enough to help steer and guide you a little bit when you're not able to steer and guide yourself. So it's a lot, of, a lot to think about, isn't it? I mean, in terms of how much is done for us in, in each of us and in an individual way and that we're all treated in that way. And yet, and we call the kind of help to us based on our beingness, what we're vibing out, why, why it's so important right now that your space, you hold your space, that you hold your space uh, high in a consistent way. Um, and that doesn't mean avoidance. It means that as you deal through life, you're able to stay here and take things. And my recommendation is in batches that you, you know, you're going to have 10 issues that all need to be solved. They're all important. Um, they all kind of somehow interconnect and stack up to, to, to tell the story of what's coming down here. Um, and yet, you know, you just can't tackle all of those things at one time. It's just, it's, it's, it's not possible. Plus you can't give the attention that you really need to give to it. So handle the things you can handle, um, now do all your low hanging fruit and then handle the other stuff in batches. And once you get this batch done, you'll feel your, your load lighter. You'll kind of see clearly a little more. And then you'll know what the next batch you need to do. And then once that's done, and you'll see that, you know, um, it'll be a lot less torturous. And it'll help you through the process so that you kind of, if you want to stay aware, want to try to figure out, you know, where, where am I moving to? Why is this troubling to me? Or why am I excited about this? And, and how do I tap into that and make that more exciting for me? Um, and tie into these other things, you know. This is the time to do that, this, this, this right now, you know, and so much of it is part of letting go of that old story and really just allowing yourself to see what happens next without so much of uh, the thinking about and I'll just so much more the doing of. The things that you have answers for, do. The things that you don't have answers for right now, don't do. Just focus on that, and then as you do those things, these other things will come, and you'll see you'll see the proper course. But it's a doing time, not a not a sitting around. You you're compelled. You're having to move yourself forward. That's what this time is right now, and so embrace it 
and just make sure that you take care of you in that process because for a lot of people it adds a few extra layers of some pressure um, because of just a few more things maybe to juggle or whatever. So just take a few extra little moments and again, handle things as you can. But again, move yourself forward. It's really that time. I hope you got something out of this video. And if so, please like and subscribe. It means a lot to us. Uh, we want to spread the message as we grow our community and we become more viable at YouTube and search criteria and more people find the message and true teaching. I've been so fed up with the woo-woo stuff and where people are kept in the same pain body with practice that is not real practice. And our community and what we're able to share together is real practice because it's based on truth, not on a truth or the truth but just truth. And the reason that works is because truth means that for me, I'm able to take something in and apply it directly to me, and you're able to take that same truth and apply it directly to you. And it may not be the exact same message in both of us, but the truth is the same. Until next time, much love.